let's change the theme for our version. So I'm in my hockey version here. I'm going to go over to the left-hand menu and select version settings. Under version settings, I'm going to click theme settings. You have a multitude of options for theme, including customizing this individual theme because Chamfer can be customized and is the default theme for Elms. Or you can switch the theme entirely. Elms comes with 15 to 16 themes, most of which have been used in Penn State courses in the past. For this demonstration though, we're just going to stick with Chamfer. You can change the site banner, which will swap this out with whatever you upload. You can change the shortcut icon, which traditionally appears in the top user bar. Display post information has to do with whether or not a piece of content indicates who created it. By default, it should have everything turned off. Settings. This allows you to swap out the logo, which in this case is this default banner, so it will still be there. The name of the course, which is Hockey 100, and whether or not the slogan appears, which we will show what the slogan is and how to change it. You also have the ability to override the theme developer's fonts with one of these approved fonts for the web. We recommend not using this feature, but it has been a requirement in the past. So let's change the Chamfer template. We're going to change it to the silver template, and then under page settings, we're going to use a background image. We're going to drop the borders. Under header settings, we're going to turn off the logo at the top of the page. These all look fine for content. And then under footer settings, we're going to take turn off the logo for the bottom of the page. And let's see what that does. So you see the little elms leaf at the top and bottom of the page are gone. We've also removed the borders and switched to this silver version of Chamfer. But it would be great to actually tell students what they're taking. So let's go back into settings. We'll put name and slogan back on and hit apply. Now, slogan isn't actually implemented at the moment. So let's see how we actually go about changing slogan and what that means. So we'll go back to version settings and then site information. Now under site information, you see you have Hockey 100, which maps to this property and this theme. Slogan would be introduction to hockey rules and footer by Brian 2012. So let's see what that does. We're gonna save for this initial creation, which was the name that I gave this in our little demo. Saving, you'll see we have Hockey 100 and then Introduction to Hockey Rules here, and the footer has been added as Brian, by Brian 2012. 